I've had this 70 Challenger since it was brand new, and we raced it for seven years, and I bought different other race cars and put it away. It's been sitting ever since, and it needed a new motor, so I built a new 446 pack motor and put in it. And uh, we can still race it, but we can also drive it on the street to rod runs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell, tell me a little bit about the engine. What have you done to it? What is it out of? What what originally came in here? A 383 uh, motor came in the car. We raced it in Super Stock J Automatic. Okay. And uh, when was that? 70s or? Yeah, 19 from 1970 to 1976. Okay. And uh, the motor broke and the car sat for years. So I built this 440 motor to put in it because that's what everybody likes to see. Right. And uh, it's originally a four-speed car, but we raced it with an automatic. And uh, we still have all the four-speed parts that go in the car. Okay. Where did, did you race it locally? or? Uh, we raced it uh, from uh, Woodburn, Oregon, all the way to Seattle. Nice. And mostly in uh, Portland. We raced uh, every Wednesday night there, and the uh, last year we raced the car, I won six in a row. Yes. And that's when the motor expired. Exactly so it's no show pony. It's no, the real deal. Here's the little things you get when you win at Portland. Oh, there we go. They are stickers there. Yeah. So I see a lot of pro street cars. They don't have, they have all the, the roll bars and all the big engines, but they don't have any rubber on the bag, nothing. Yeah, this has got. 18 inch wide rubber on it. Gotcha. Yeah. And who did the, um, is this gold leafing? Yep, uh, my uh, friend Paul Camo in Vancouver, Washington. How long ago was this done? Uh, about three months. Nice. The car used to have a, a big 44 Magnum picture on the side that was called Magnum Force. Oh, wow. And the Dodge, depend on it, used to be a lot smaller. Gotcha. Yeah. So when did it get this paint scheme? Uh, paint scheme was done in uh, 1970. So it's always been striped like this, pretty much from brand new? 1970, yep. The only thing, we repainted the sides of the car. Okay, so you, you bought it to race, right? Yeah. Well, we... If you noticed, all the stripes on the whole car are all pinstriped. Oh, wow, they are. The whole car. Wow. <laughs> you trying to open it up? Oh man. Mm -hmm. So you bought it brand new to race? Yeah, in uh, 1977, you had to have a roll bar in the car. That's where we put the roll bar in it. And that was to run as, as quick as what? Uh, nothing. You just had to have one. Oh, everyone had it? Yeah, everyone had it. So what, if you if you use this as your uh, drag car, what was your daily driver? Uh, I went a lot of times Chevrolet pickups. That's what you bought. So you bought this new and then drove a Chevy pickup? Yeah. As your yeah. daily? Yeah. I had a brand new 73 Chevy pickup. We towed this on the trailer. Right? Oh, man. You got any pictures of that? Back no, I don't. I don't. Back in the day? Buy it. Buy it. No. Badass. What's the quickest you've gone in it? What? What's the quickest you've gone in it? Oh, this is all I went for. Like, 10, 20. Only? <laughs> That's moving. Now, my Corvette race car, it went 180. Jeez, what year's your Corvette? It was a 90. Oh, and wow. My wife drove a dragster, and it went 190. Your wife drove a dragster? Oh, yeah. Is she here? Race cars. Is she here today? Yeah, she'll be back with us. She's got pictures on her phone. Oh, man. I'd love to see that. So, did you race it with these wheels on it back then, too? With what? Did you race it with these wheels on it back then, or? No. Now, a story about the wheels, I bought them front ones, they're Weld Pro Stock, and we were back racing at Indianapolis, and the uh, trailer was there that sells Weld wheels, and I told him I had these, and I, I needed some 14s, and he said, we don't make them anymore. So he called it the factory, because those were made in two parts, and they still had some of the centers, and when I got back home, he gave me a brand new pair of wow. back ones. Oh, he gave you the back ones? Yeah. Jeez. And what size are the backs? Those are 14 wide. Jeez. That is gorgeous. And this 
this is the last set of uh, Hoosier tires that are 18 inches wide made. They don't make 18s no more. They make 16s and 21 inch wide tires. Where'd you pick those up at? Uh, from the factory. Oh, back in the day or? No, no, that was just a year ago. Alright. And it's, you're finally ready to let it go now, huh? Yep, I got three other cars. So you got the you got a Corvette, what else? No, my wife's got a 64 Corvette Roadster. I have a 55 Chev and uh, I got a 32 Ford Roadster. Wow, uh, so you're kicking the challenger out, huh? Old faithful. What's the ticket on it? I'd like to get 55 for it. It's only a 14,000 mile car. Right. You know, no rust in the whole car. Drag race from new. I'm gonna have to get a video of it running later too then. You can see the picture there that has the magnet force. Yeah. How it used to be. Ah, that's nice. There's no car. Hey, what's your name, sir? Bob Miller. Bob Miller Desi. <laughs> nice to meet you, man.